Earth, New York, Sam Sun. A data scientist from Lake Forest, California, Alex Lamb. And an attorney from Los Angeles, California, Brian Ross. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Ken Jennings. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert. Welcome back to Jeopardy Second Chance. Now, we already know that our two champions from earlier in the week, Deanna Bolio and Rob Kim, will be appearing in our two-game total point final that begins tomorrow. But that leaves one open spot. Which Season 37 contestant will be the third finalist? Brian, Alex, or Pam? Good luck, players. Let's start finding out in the Jeopardy round where these categories are waiting. We begin back in the day. Then we have the Sporting News, the New York Knox, followed by Name That Play, European Vacation, and in the sixth spot, B minus. Brian, you begin. Let's do the Sporting News for 800. Sydney-born tennis star Don Newcomb won Grand Slam singles titles at Wimbledon, the US Open, and of course, this. Brian. What is the Australian Open? That's right. Uh, Sporting News for 1,000. Named for the color of their uniforms, the All Blacks are New Zealand's national team in this, the national sport. Pam. What is rugby? Correct. Um, New York Knox 1000. A Yelper on this landmark connecting Canal Street in Jersey City. A traffic jam tunnel. If you have a small bladder like me, good luck. Pam. What is the Holland Tunnel? Harsh review of the Holland Tunnel. <laughs> New York Knox 800. In their 1979 top 40 hit Shattered, this group saying, go ahead, bite the Big Apple. Don't mind the maggots. Shadooby. Alex? Who are the Rolling Stones? Yes. Uh, Sporting News 600. Like Manchester, Newcastle in the north of England has a Premier League soccer club with this all-for-one name. Alex. What is United? Yes. Uh, back in the day, 800. Not a Super Bowl stadium. It was also called the Oil Reserve Scandal or Elk Hill Scandal. And it took a toll on President Harding. Alex. What is Teapot Dome? You got it. Back in the day, 1,000. Answer there. Here we go. This one's just for you, Alex. How much will you wager? I've always wanted to. Let's make it a true daily double. All right. All your cash at stake. Here's your clue. This U.S. agency began in 1961. Its director, Sergeant Shriver, said it had 15,000 volunteers in more than 50 countries in less than six years. What is... the Foreign Legion? No, I'm sorry. The Peace Corps. That Kennedy-era initiative drops you down to zero, but you have control still. European Vacation 1000. 